Hello everyone. In this video, we're going to be solving a very interesting log equation. I don't think I've seen problem uh, this problem anywhere else. I kind of thought about it. I came up with it, but I'm pretty sure someone else can come up with the same problem. And sometimes people say, hey, you took this problem from someone else, which is not necessarily true. Anyways, so we have log x to the power ln x. And that is equal to ln x to the power log x. Here, let me clarify a couple things for those of you who are not familiar with my previous videos, because that's what I always do in my videos. Log x is equivalent to log x with base 10. And ln x is the natural log, which is base e. So we're going to use those definitions all the time. And let's go ahead and uh, solve this equation. Now, when you look at an equation like this, this kind of looks like you know, a to the power b equals b to the power a. And we can actually parameterize the solution, something like b equals a k. We can plug it in and so on and so forth. And we can find a parametric solution, which is obviously not going to be all the solutions, but some solutions. And there is going to be infinitely many. Does that work for this one? I'm not exactly sure. I haven't tried it. You can definitely try this method. So you can say something like, hey, can I assume that ln x is equal to k log x and if you know your log identities you'll hopefully see what I see but anyways let me not talk about that but this is just another approach that I wanted to mention real quick so let's go ahead and proceed with the solution so to be able to simplify this equation I'm going to be doing a couple of manipulations and we're going to be looking at a graph at the end which is very interesting in my opinion so in like graph <laughs> okay so I'm going to be looking at the equality of these two functions and when are they equal that's going to give us a graph a set of points right Where, for which this is true if there's only one point then you're not going to see it in Desmos because it doesn't show individual points unless you uh, deliberately uh, mark them right unfortunately that's kind of like a limitation I don't know why but it doesn't show individual points but some people mentioned some tricks. Anyways, let's talk. I'm talking too much. Let's get into the solution. So here's what I'm going to do. Let me tell you the plan and then I'm going to proceed. I'm going to take natural log of both sides because I think ln is better than log. In my opinion, you could take the log of both sides. But a lot of times I prefer ln, which is the natural log. OK, natural log. You get the idea. So. And then after aligning both sides, I'm going to go ahead and use properties of logs. Uh, one of the most important properties, I think, is change of base. So let me go ahead and talk about that. If you have something like log b with base a, and I don't know why I don't use b for the base. Let's do it. Log a with base b, I can write it as ln a over ln b. In this case, I use ln, but you could also use log. And if you want... You could also use any base, like let's uh, use base x. I don't want to use x. How about c? Because I'm using x in my problem, so let's not confuse ourselves. So, yes, this is true for any base. All right. And what happens if I use the same base? Then you're going to get log a over log b. And with the same base, this is going to be 1. So change of base actually is verified. <laughs> one more time. But anyways, this is meaningless. It's just right dividing by one but as you can see ln is convenient so let's use it and how do we use it but first we're gonna take the natural log of both sides and then we're going to do change of base okay this is called change of base so if you wanted to change the base for some reason you can always use this formula okay and if you want me to give you an example let's say you have log four with base two and I want to change it to base two because uh, four is not a good base two is better it's prime I can write hey log two log two two bases the two bases are going to be the same this number goes here and this number goes here make sense this is one this is two and so this is one half so it allows you to simplify a lot of different things and I just wanted to give you this ex example Okay, one more time, let me rewrite my equation because I talked about so many different things. Hopefully it didn't confuse you. Just wanted to give you a little bit more info. That would be helpful. Okay. So 
let's natural log both sides. So I'm going to look, um, probably space it out a little bit like this. So I can squeeze in an LN there. I want to LN this and LN that. Okay. Oopsies. Anyways, you get the idea. So something like this. Now, when you have a log and with a power, you can move this to the front. That's what is cool about logging both sides. So this becomes ln x times ln log x. And don't forget log x is base 10 equals log x, which is the power that was moved to the front times ln of ln x. Great. <laughs> Thinking that this did make it easier, uh, simpler? No, not necessarily, but don't worry, it's going to simplify. And the answer is actually really, really cool and very, very, let me not tell you what it is. Okay, I don't want to spoil the surprise. So now here's what I'm going to do next. Don't cancel out anything, and by the way, nothing cancels out. But let's go ahead and use change of base somewhere. Where should we use the change of base first? How about this one? Let's use it with this one first. Because I can turn it into ln x times something, right? ln x times ln log x equals, now how do you change it to base uh, e? You write ln x over, since the base is 10, divided by ln 10. Make sense? Okay, cool. Now this gave us a common factor. Let's go ahead and put everything on the same side and factor it. So this is going to give us ln x times ln log x minus ln x over ln 10, or I could probably write it more appropriately, uh, ln x, but multiplied by ln ln x over ln 10, because I'm going to take out ln x, so this looks better. So now ln x is a common factor, take out, you're going to get ln log x minus ln ln x over ln 10 equals 0. Now we were able to factor it, which is nice because this gives us ln x equals 0. And you're thinking, yay, I got the trivial solution, x equals 1. But if you go back to the original problem, Houston, we have a problem. And what is that problem? This gives you 0 to the power 0. And do you think 0 to the power 0 is equal to 0 to the power 0? Uh, not necessarily. That's kind of like an indeterminate form. So that's not very good. So we're not going to accept x equals 1. We're going to go with the other factor. So this is what I have. Let me rewrite it. And maybe actually, why not add this to the right hand side so we can get an equation? Mm, is that going to be helpful? Probably. So I have ln log x equals ln ln x over ln 10. That's what I got from the second factor, right? What, what can I do with this? So here's what you can do. Change the log x again change the log x by using change of base because we want everything to be ln. It's like ln, 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 okay? And I can write this, as you know, uh, as ln x over ln 10. So in other words, ln x over log x is always constant. Did you know that? That's kind of cool too. Anyways, so this doesn't look better. Oh, come on. But here's what we can do. If you have a quotient, you can apply the uh, rules of logs. And that turns into ln ln x minus ln ln 10. And that's equal to ln ln x divided by ln 10. Hmm. It's kind of like really weird and ln -y. But we got ln x, ln ln x twice. So why not put those on the same side? Let's go ahead and move this to the left. And we're going to get ln ln x minus 1 over ln 10 times ln ln x. Hopefully that makes sense because I'm about to factor it. And put this guy on the right hand side as a positive term because we want to keep things positive, right? Okay. Now we have a common factor. This and this. So let's take it out. This time we don't have 0, but that's okay. This gives us 1 minus 1 over ln 10 equals ln ln 10 and we're almost there divide both sides by this but you know what you can also simplify this a little bit before you divide maybe and then multiply by the reciprocal you're going to get ln ln 10 times ln 10 which comes from here divided by ln 10 
minus one. You can also write it as ln 10 over e, but I don't think that's help, um, that's useful or whatever needed. So we have ln ln x. This is base e, remember? So you can actually do e to the power of both sides because e to the power ln ln x is ln x. And you have to do e to the power again. So e to the power of this ln x is equal to e to the power of this. Oops. Again, I'm rushing. I, I should slow down. Tell myself, like, slow down, slow down. Okay. This is ln x. And since the base is e again, let's do e to the power one more time. And we're going to get our weird, weird solution. It's like e to the power, e to the power, ln, ln 10, times ln 10, divided by ln 10 minus 1. And obviously, this can be simplified because e to the power ln 10 is 10, 10 to the power something, something, something. But that's the solution, and it works. Does it? Let's go ahead and take a look at the graph. All right, cool, cool. That's like a x equals a single value. That's a horizontal line. And here you go. The graph of our relation or equation, whatever, and the solution. And guess what? This is a dotted line. That's The other one is a solid line. And hopefully, you can see both because I wanted to show you that they completely overlap. You can see that. Hopefully, you can. And... This brings us to the end of this video. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. I'll see you next time with another video. Until then, be safe, take care, and bye-bye.